we got to this point where we mapped the human genome and, and people expected these spectacular uh, results that would come from, from mapping it. And, and it has been. I mean, it's the equivalent of the man walking on the moon. I mean, it, it's spectacular that we've done that. But the interesting thing is that 99.5%, greater than 99.5% of our DNA is identical in every human being on Earth. I mean, you look at the three billion base pairs, the three million data points, three billion data points that we have, and really less than a half a percent is what makes each of us different. And that less than a half a percent is what we call the polymorphisms. But on top of that, we have the epigenetics. So the code itself doesn't change over time. As we go through life, our code is identical. People ask me all the time, can you change your code? And you can't. It is your fixed code. It's the hardware that everything operates on. The epigenetics is the software. And that's where we actually have control over outcomes. And everything we do can change gene expression. I mean, DNA is this unimaginably intelligent molecule. I mean, its whole role is for you to and me to thrive. And it's constantly assessing environment and making changes in order to say, okay, this is a stressful environment. This is a good environment. What do I need to do to optimize my function in this environment? That's epigenetics. So when we eat certain foods, uh, we call foods certain bioactives, we can change expressions of genes. When we exercise, we can change a third of our genome's expression when we chronically exercise. When we meditate, we can change 2,200 genes out of, out of 23,000. I mean, fantastic depth of, of variability that is built in there. And all we have to do is do the right things to make it happen. Wow. That's like, that's hard to believe that we could control our genetic code like that with just practices. I mean, you wouldn't think meditation could change your gene expression. Oh yeah. But it can. Mm -hmm. And most people don't bother with any of that stuff, really. I mean, a lot of people aren't really concentrated on their diet, on their movement, or necessarily on their mindfulness. They kind of just live out their lives and expect their DNA to get them wherever they're supposed to go. Um, that's not the way to live anymore. And that's kind of why you stop being the typical doctor and started doing this stuff, right? Right. Yeah, the, you know, medicine has been based on this, this premise, and health in general. I mean, it's, it's all based on a premise of let's have this stepwise postponement of death. So you just go through life and you gradually deteriorate, and we're just trying to postpone that as much as we can. That's what medicine is about right now. And when it looks at this human system that is us, it's looking at it in a very basic way. We are very complex systems. I mean, everything we do changes expression. We have unpredictability. We have, um, we can't be reduced into a reductionistic state based on an input. And everything in medicine is based on that now. And this is, this is kind of defining us as a complicated system like a robot or an airplane or something like that. Something where every piece of it can be analyzed and say, if we put this input in, we will get this output 100% of the time. And this is why we have algorithms in medicine. And what we've been doing is creating um, a new paradigm around this where we look at the human system as complex and we take a complex system approach and everything is based on probability. So we, we are very data driven. We collect data. We get as much data on each individual as we can. And then we say, okay, here's where you are. How do we get you over here where you want to be? And that's the, you know, people have this perceived limit of what's possible uh, for a human. W what was it you said at the beginning, uh, be your best you. W what is your best you? Most people have lines drawn that, okay, this is my best me. We're here to erase the lines. I mean, the best you, with what we have now in advances in science and technology, we can take that version of the best you and move it well across that line now.